top, welcome back to AGT. Here's a comedian who can make anything funny, even getting nervous on the results show. He's Taylor Williamson. Only one will go into the semifinals. I was freaking out. Like, it was the scariest, most horrible, wonderful moment ever. The wonderful part was after they said my name. Taylor Williamson! I can't believe people voted for me. That's the craziest thing is, uh, People like me. It's just such a special, overwhelming thing. It's just a dream come true, and uh, I want it to happen again. What's up, guys? I hope you win it. Oh, thank you I so much. I have fans much. now that don't hang from ceilings, which is pretty exciting. You're like my favorite person. Oh, thanks, Jessica. You're my favorite person. I am becoming a heartthrob. I'm officially a heartthrob. I'm a teen heartthrob. Bye. I love you so much. I get it, you know? That's funny. His material is great, but that's subjective. I'm looking for an act that I can go and see with my family. I'm just being honest. I didn't think it was very funny. Patty Klum just hated me. I, I can't get that out of my head. So that's why I catered my next performance to the children of America. Do you think my comedy is appropriate for children? I'm really freaking out because everybody on the show is so good. Oh, watch for me on the good show. Hey everybody, it's great to be back here in New York City. <laughs> Hi Heidi. I missed you too. <laughs> Before I start, I just want to let you know that I really truly do respect your opinion on stand-up comedy. And I spent the last two weeks writing a bunch of jokes that are extremely child appropriate. And I dedicate my set tonight to you. Uh, uh. <laughs> hey, you guys, Heidi and me went to the zoo today. Anyone here ever go to the zoo before? <laughs> I went to the zoo. Uh, I saw this camel. It had really tiny humps. H hope she has a nice personality. <laughs> huh? No? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Anyone here ever go to elementary school? <laughs> Me too, we have so much in common. You know how they call them number two pencils? That's disgusting. <laughs> I like dogs. How come it's okay when you see a dog? You can go, aw, that dog's so cute. Aw, that dog's adorable. But then it's creepy when I go, I think that dog is attractive. <laughs> you guys are awkward. <laughs> my friend Margie just got a Labradoodle. If you're not familiar with this, cutest dog I've ever seen in my entire life. It's a mix between a lab and a doodle. <laughs> I can't even make this up. The dog's father's a four pound black poodle. Dog's mother, 60 pound white Labrador retriever. That's a huge size difference. But I guess it proves the stereotype that black poodles love fat white bitches, right? <laughs> hey, thank you very much, everybody. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Heidi Klum. I love you so much. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> wow! Thank you so much. Way to kill it! What's up, man? That last joke was hilarious. <laughs> Heidi, he was doing really, really well until he got to that last joke. I don't feel pressured at all. <laughs> Me neither. No, you know what my favorite part is? Is when you start flirting with me. <laughs> and when you look me in the eyes and you laugh at me. Well, no, you, you, did, you, did <laughs> make, you, you did you did make me laugh today. I was a little scared when really? I saw your name on the list. You know, I was a little scared, but you did make me laugh today. Really? Yes. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but I want you to know, and I told you last time after the show, yeah. I really like you. You know, when you're just normal and funny and awkward, I really like you. 
hey, I like you a lot too, but I wish you liked me for more than just my body, you know? <laughs> like, there's stuff up here too, all right, Heidi Klum? There's chemistry <laughs> right there, Mel B. Maybe we have to go on a tour together. Okay. <laughs> Let's move it along. I'm very I available. I think, I think you're completely inappropriate, yeah. and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> Howie! Thank you so much. Brilliantly funny, now the new best act of the night. You deserve <laughs> to go on. I hope America votes. Vote, vote, vote. I know you're sitting at home and you think this was good. If you don't get on the phones and you don't vote, he won't go through. We gotta get you through. I love you. All Thank right. Thank you. <laughs> Our no-nonsense judge of the night, Howard Stern. I gave you the standing O because you did the impossible. You're going on network television. You're walking that fine line. You're handling yourself beautifully, and you're making America laugh. You're terrific. <laughs> well said. Great job, my Thank friend. You. Thank if you, you want you. Taylor to stay in the competition, you got to vote for him. If you don't, he'll be heading home, and he won't like that. Voting will be open for two hours at the end of the show. I'm feeling very confident. Uh, that's what I say when I'm terrified. Ouch! You know how they call them number two pencils? That's disgusting. <laughs> You did make me laugh today. Really? Yes, I really like you. Hey, I like you a lot too, but I wish you liked me for more than just my body, you know? <laughs> like. Heidi didn't hate you. Hi, Heidi. She gave you a nice little kiss on your forehead. Yeah, I'm cool now. Care to kiss my sure, forehead? Sure, give it here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging out here at the Snapple All Natural Talent Suite with the 12 acts, and for six of them, this is gonna be an amazing night. They will move one step closer to the best prize on TV. Now, Forte, you guys had a big night last night, and you guys are always saying that you wanna bring opera to a wider audience, and Josh Groban even tweeted about that. How cool is that, man? I mean, it was great. Uh, when I initially performed for him, it was an incredible experience, and that kind of led to the group being put together. And I tweeted at him thanking him for his affirmation, and then he, you know, he said how moved he was to see how well we're doing. So that really felt great. Awesome. Now, speaking of being moved, Taylor. What's up, man? Uh, yes, now, last night when you left the building, there were screaming girls outside. Are you used to this yet? And how, how is that whole experience for you? It's really funny, like I have all these, uh, these high school girls offering me their phone numbers. I, I feel like God answered my prayers for 15 year old girls who love me about 12 years too late. <laughs> but, you know, I'll t I, thanks, you know, he's, he's been busy. Yeah, know? I understood, I understood. Now, Forte, I hear you guys in your hometown, they like want to name a sandwich as, after you guys at a deli. What is on a Forte sandwich? For me, it's probably like gluten-free with turkey. Okay. For me, a little uh, Puerto Rican lechon asado. All right. Yeah, a little Sri Lankan Indian spice in the middle. Oh, I like that. That sounds delicious. Now, they making a sandwich after you yet? Yeah, it's a uh, turkey burger. <laughs> On white bread. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to all of you tonight. Yeah. Welcome back to the semifinal results. Two acts have gone through to the top 12 so far tonight. But who else is going to move closer to winning $1 million? Who else could be America's newest star? Let's get to it. Here's the next result. Angela Hoover. Taylor Williamson. Collins Key. Please step forward. Who did you put through? America has voted. The act going into the top 12 and moving closer to winning $1 million is
Collins Key. You guys stay right here. We're not done with you yet. Three spots left. It's getting tougher for all the acts still waiting. And right here, we still have Angela Hoover and Taylor Williamson. One of them is also going into the top 12. Let's find out who else you put through. America has voted. The next act going into the top 12 is Angela, thank you so much. You were awesome. Wow. Hey. Hey, thank you so much to everyone who voted for me. I call my fans my Taylors. Thank you to all my Taylors. Shout out. All, all the Taylors in the, the building. Taylors. I thank you. Uh, it's such an honor, honestly, that my, to make a uh, standing ovation for my comedy heroes. And it's so, so special for me. And uh, Heidi Klum, are you a Taylor now? Yeah. You got the thumbs up. Heidi Klum is a Taylor, you guys. <laughs> now, I don't know if Howard Stern is a Taylor, but he gave you a standing ovation last night. Howard, are you pleased? Listen, I don't want to talk about Taylors. It sounds weird to me, but I want to compliment you. You have a one-two punch. Not only do you have such a likable character, you've got real material. That's why we saw Angela go home. Her material fell down. You've got it all. And you know, in this day and age of comedy clubs, they're not what they were back in the day. This is such a great show, such a great forum for comedians like you. Look at how you're thriving. America is discovering a big talent in you. Congratulations. I'm thrilled you're going on. Congratulations, indeed. We'll see you in the top 12. Taylor Williamson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>